All right, if we're all ready, let's do the model year 23 solstice launch reveal. We're just going to talk about the boat, how we designed it, and what we did. So Josh, absolutely stunning design. Thank you, Rusty. Brand new model year 23 Solstice. Um, for those of you who don't remember, Josh all, does all the industrial design for us. So he's very, very busy. Um, so, so Josh, um, great new boat. Well, thank you, Josh. And tell what us. makes a Solstice a Solstice? And so to do that, I went out and visited some of you, some of the dealers talk to some customers, and talk to some of my colleagues at Harris who actually own Harris uh, Solstice boats. And what I learned from that experience was really that the, the Solstice is a boat for people who want performance, comfort, technology, and classic pontoon styling. Um, so Josh, walk us through just a couple of the new things on the exterior. Sure. So focus a little bit on the badging, focus a little bit on the styling. Tell us what's yeah. new and different. So like Rusty mentioned, there's some new uh, fence panels. You know, we have, we have the new Sage Green. Um, we have more flat panels, more matte finishes. So that, for starters, is a big deal. Um, so you'll be able to have your customers, can have more customization there. So starting at the bow, we've eliminated the toe stubbing, clunky uh, lights that were up here. We've gone to a, a multi-function LED, super efficient, super bright little light here that we help uh, partner with the supplier to develop. We've uh, kind of celebrated that light with this new badge that gives the Solstice a little bit more character, it kind of elevates the Solstice as a brand. That's something that I learned from talking to Solstice owners is they, there's a pride in owning a Solstice. Um, so we've given the Solstice a little bit more character with that, that badge, and I think it gives it a more uh, streamlined kind of retro feel to it. So as I move back to the rear of the boat, you can see maybe if you're real familiar with Solstices, this has a little bit cleaner look. We've eliminated some rails and sort of streamlined and kind of cleaned up the, the rail design on it. Um, dealers have been asking for a long time for a flagpole option, so now we have a flagpole um, that you can get for the Solstice. You can get this for other boats as well, right? Yep. Um, available on all models. Available on all models. The accent uh, on the Solstice used to go in this panel here. I kind of felt like it slowed the, the, the boat down. It just doesn't feel right. So we moved the accent location to the top here. So now it sweeps all the way around the boat and comes back right to the Harris uh, logo. And that's like we talked about before, available in three bright, bold new finishes as well as a matte black. Josh, well, hang tight. We will get back to you in just a little bit. Okay. We're gonna go join Andrew up top. So, um, <clears throat> you know, clearly the exterior got a really great finish, but we worked on the interior as well, and Andrew and his team have worked very, very hard to launch both a new lounger and a new helm on this boat. So, Andrew, if you don't mind, can you walk us through a little bit of some of the new features that we've kept and some of the new things on this lounger? Yep, absolutely, Rusty, happy to do that. So, as, as you mentioned, we've carried forward everything that our customers like on our current SL. Built-in cooler, ample storage, both on the front and the back, and then the ability to, um, to, to have three different positions here for our, for our, our our beach goers, our operators to enjoy their time on the water. The big uh, change for us, right, is a, is, a, is a much more seamless operation for the arm on our sun lounger. And so I've got a one-handed operation from the back position to the center, and I'll just lock in position there. And for me then to move this from the center position to either back or forward again, I've got a small lever down here on the side, of the fiberglass. Uh, just a one finger pull there and I can just move that down into the position. So if you remember before, it was a little bit more of a laborious operation. I gotta kinda get a knee on it and pull it up and then move it. And we've taken all that away. Simple one-handed operation to the center and again, a pin pull to the back position. And Andrew, I think what really stands out about this is how quiet it is, right? It, this is so quiet. Tell us a little bit about the work behind that mechanism. Right, so the mechanism, the pivot points are completely different than they were before. We put some uh, composite material in there, removed some of the metal and metal contact that we've had, really made that a smoother, easier operation, quiet as you mentioned, um, easy to operate for anyone, any age, any size. 
phenomenal. Um, thank you for your team for working on that. This, this is going to be an absolute home right. run. Well, and Andrew, this helm looks new. It does. It looks exciting. It's it, absolutely it, it, new. it looks very, very different than before. So, so tell us what's new about kind of the feel and look of it. Sure. So, Rusty, the first thing that um, you and all of you out there will notice is that the helm is lower, right? Uh, it's more sleek. And all of this translates into a better ability for me as the captain to be able to see, hey Josh, see what I'm doing, right? And make sure that I'm operating safely. And we've done this all without compromising any feel of space and, um, and connectivity with the boat, right? So if you can see down here, I've got plenty of room for my knees, plenty of room for my feet, and, and, and clearance to the steering wheel to make this operation very comfortable. Yep. So, so Andrew, um, exterior looks awesome. We have an amazing marine mat floor that's color matched to the rest of the boat, so you don't have to think through that. It just comes standard and color matched to whatever interior you choose. Um, so Andrew, we would be remiss not to talk about the interior of this helm. Right. We've worked very, very hard with the Navico group, with the C-Zone team, who are also here today. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Yep, so as you mentioned, it's a partner collaboration with Navico group. We've taken a lot of the great things that we've learned on the Grand Mariner, carried them into the solstice. Um, best in class digital architecture, no question, from a design, development, testing, and validation standpoint. Super excited about how this has come together uh, for a very custom look on the solstice. So why don't Rusty, you show us some of that? Yeah, so one of the things, Rusty, you already mentioned this, but I think it's worth demonstrating just how easy and how simple this is. So we're looking at the home page here. I'll just click right over to the lighting page. I'd like to demonstrate the LED lights and go ahead and turn on the interior and the exterior lights. Hopefully all of you are seeing those come on. I'll click on the color wheel and there I've got the ability to select any color I'd like to see. So let's just pick this one. And then I've also have the ability to change the brightness on those depending on the boating condition, the time of day and my, uh, my desire to really have brights or not so bright lights. So Andrew, the customer can do that manually. Also, if the customer doesn't want to think through which lights have to be on and off, and they're doing a nighttime party or a nighttime cruise, there's a single button mode that you can select that. Um, the other thing that's new is the SOS mode on this boat. So there's a mode for SOS. So if a customer gets stranded for some reason or anything else, we have an SOS mode where if a customer presses it, in Morse code, um, it'll tap out SOS. And those who are on the water and are aware of that can come, come and help them. So, Andrew, again, amazing job. Thank you for all the hard work here. Um, you and your team deserve a lot of kudos. Yeah, thank right. you. Okay, so right, moving on to the space in the boat. So yes, it does feel more spacious in here. That is something I also heard from talking to dealers was, um, it just felt a little cramped, especially in this space. So we actually have reduced the size of this piece of furniture and that piece of furniture, and if you get a center walk through the other piece, um, to just open up this space in the boat. We've gained about four inches width-wise here and about six inches depth-wise here without really making any compromises, right? It's still the same seating position, it's still the same angle, you still have an armrest built in, it still has all the comfort that it had before, just more space to move around in the boat. Awesome. So Josh, um, the, the chase is smaller. Have we given up anything on the ergonomics piece or how does this, how's the furniture feel? No, it's still very comfortable. In fact, I think it's more comfortable than anything I own in my life. Um, so I, I, I don't want to sit around right now because I won't want to get up. <laughs> um, so if you guys want to try it, there's the lounge over here later that you can try or you can come sit in this boat. But I think it's incredibly comfortable. Awesome. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of the new branding. I'm noticing a lot of new sure. branding. A yeah. lot of, you're really we're really elevating yeah. that Solstice brand. Yep. Tell us more about that. Yep, so just like I talked about on the outside, we're elevating that Solstice with a, a new badge on the outside and we have an upholstered Solstice logo on the inside. Um, we also have it on the floor mat over there. Just to give the, the boat a little bit more character, you know, I think it'll help build that sense of pride that owners will have in their Solstice. And it really just adds that, uh, you know, what we designers call the third read detail um, that helps kind of like bring the, bring it all together and provide that kind of detail. Awesome. Josh, this boat is stunning. Thank you. Um, we are clearly on a chestnut brown boat. Um, yes. We have all three base, all four base colors for the Solstice. We have the vivid blue, we have the red, we have the sun gold accents. So we encourage you, go over there, sit on the furniture, look at some of the color combinations, feel what it's like to be on this brand new Solstice. We're excited about it.
Um, Josh, thank you for your time. We You're really welcome. appreciate it. Really nice work with everything you do. Thank you. Um, we hope you guys are also as excited about the Solstice as we are. We've had an amazing time um, designing the bow. We've had an amazing time validating it. And we're excited to be here and share it with you.